welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and I'm coming at you guys today with my beautiful bookshelf tour. Now, I take a lot of pride in the way my books are organized and the way they are presented on my shelf. And I am just excited for you guys to finally see my, my pride and joy. My pride and joy. No need for chit chat, let's just get on with the video. So I'll start with a quick overview of my shelves. These top two shelves here are my fantasy, dystopian type genre. And this next shelf here is my horror slash mystery thriller genre. And the shelf on the left is my deep impact hit you hard books, I guess. And on the right is books that aren't really books, but you know, they're books still. The next shelf is my fairy tale retelling slash fairy tales shelf and my last shelf is my contemporary shelf so we have six of crows by lee bardugo a court of thorns and roses and a court of mist and fury by sarah j mass this one's been personally signed to me then we have star wars the aftermath by chuck wendig all the light we cannot see by anthony dorr clariel by garth nix then we have zodiac by romina russell afterworld afterworlds by scott westerfeld the Fifth Wave and The Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. And then we have The Infernal Devices, Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare. Then we have Hit and Strike, both by Delilah Dawson. And then we have The Darkest Minds Trilogy, Darkest Minds, Number Fate in the Afterlight, all by Alexandra Bracken. And then we have The Hunger Games Trilogy, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay, all by Suzanne Collins. Then we have The Star Wars Trilogy by a bunch of different people. Then we have The Half Bad Trilogy, by Sally Green, Half Bad, Half Wild, Half Lost. Then we have After the End by Amy Plum. Then we have the Vampire Academy series, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and Last Sacrifice by Rochelle Mead. Then we have Camp by Elaine Wolf and Graceling by Kristen Kishore. And Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and Doll Bones by Holly Black. And I know Doll Bones is not fantasy or dystopian. However, it just doesn't fit on my horror shelf, okay? And then we have Mr. Mercedes and Finders Keepers by Stephen King. The Cuckoo's Calling and the Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, or also known as J.K. Rowling. And we have Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. Freak by Jennifer Hillier. Burning and Breaking by Daniel Rollins. Survive the Night by Daniel Vega. And the Merciless Trilogy, Merciless 1, 2, and 3, also by Daniel Vega. She's the author of all these books. And then we have Dream a Little Dream by Kirsten Gear. We have Nightmares by Jason Siegel and Kir Kirsten Miller. And then we have True Irish Ghost Stories. And then we have Trust No One by Paul Cleave. The Girl from the Well and The Suffering by Rena Chupeco. Then we have The Blessed by Tanya Hurley. And we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. And then we have Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tuchok. And then we have Bliss by Lauren Miracle. Then we have The Soul of an Octopus by Cy Montgomery. The Absolutist of Nothing by C.G. Watson. It was also published as Ascending the Boneyard. Then we have The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian by Sherman Alexie. The Giver by Lois Lowry. A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, Challenger Deep by Neil Schusterman, If You're Reading This by Trent Reedy, Life of Pi by Jan Martel, Heaven Is For Real by Todd Burpo, Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, I don't know how to say her last name, and The Outsiders by Essie Hinton. Then we have the biology book by Michael C. Gerald with Gloria E. Gerald. I don't know if you could tell from just one book, but biology is my favorite subject. And then we have Irish Folk and Fairy Tales, Fairy and Folk Tales. And then this is 300 Writing Prompts, an interior design course, which I figured would be helpful when I wanted to do interior design. No longer want to do that, but then we have a photo album for my cousin's wedding, Where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. And then we have Julie Garwood, Ransom, which you ought to like if you've read it. I haven't read it, 
She's so probably like, Molly, this is a book. What do you mean? It's no longer a book. Oh, well, that was helpful. Because I cut out its guts. It's no longer a book because I cut out its guts and make it, made it a secret safe compartment for all of my bookmarks because I don't have anywhere else to put them. And then I have complete the story and I have an interior design magazine by Lux or Lux. And then we have the first three Tarzan of the Apes by Edgar Burroughs. Then we have Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. Then we have Dorothy Must Die and The Wicked Will Rise by Daniel Page. And we have Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Spelled by Betsy Show. Alias Hook by Lisa Jensen. And we have Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. And Black Beauty, which doesn't say it has an author. Then we have Off the Page by Jodi P. Cole and Samantha Van Leer. My True Love Gave to Me by a lot of people. Then we have Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Then we have 100 Sideways Miles by Andrew S and We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Eleanor in Park by Rainbow Rowell. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Finding Paris by Joy Preble. Fangirl by Rainbow Row. We have Dream Factory by Brad Barkley and Heather Hepler. And we have We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sunquist. And we also have Love and First Sight by Josh Sunquist. Then If I Stay and Where She Went by Gail Foreman. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!